welcome to another episode of Farming Life at LaForge. This is not one of our typical episodes where we show you our daily activities on the farm, but my brother Luke, who you would have seen in one of the videos before, he has this company NUT Parts, so it's a website for selling um, new and used tractor parts. I mentioned it to some of you before, you might have already heard of it, and yeah, so I suppose we don't do a lot of advertising on this channel or any promotions or sponsoring or anything like that but I guess when it's family I kind of have to so this is a video of Luke he is selling a four five thousand so he bought the five thousand here in France and he brought it back to Ireland so he's just going to show you around the tractor he's going to talk about it and show it running and yeah I guess that'll be today's video and we will have our regular videos tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoy this video a little bit different still showing you around a tractor I guess and I will see you guys tomorrow Hi how's it going it's uh, Luke here from uh, Nut Parts uh, just a little video here on a Ford 5000 Pre-4 Super Measure that we've got in from France lately uh, as you can see, she's a very, very original tractor. Very, very straight panels and all. Uh, so yeah, she's um, only got her in there last week. She's a uh, so she's a 1966 model. Uh, she'd be one of the last ones, I think. I think they stopped them in was it 68? Um, okay, I, them cabs, I, cabs never were never uh, originally fitted to these tractors. That's just a cab that's uh, a standard French cab that they do fit to uh, a lot of different makes of tractors. It's just a universal cab to kind of just keep them out of the rain and that. But yeah, it doesn't do it any justice, but uh, sure, look, a lad has to keep himself dry. So yeah, she, as you can see, the tin work and all is very, very original and straight on her. Very, very hard to get in this condition. Uh, so just starting this side. So yeah, as you can see, she's dynamo charge. It has to have been converted to uh, an alternator. So looks like a new dynamo, all right. But um, she's still the the proper dynamo and everything is charging and everything, hundred percent. The original uh, engine block, the uh, replacement engine blocks come with a, an X mark like this uh, along them. So you can see that's yet she's holding oil. There's no oil leaks anywhere. Um, she's actually very, very clean that way. Uh, so yeah, you have your original indicator uh, arms. Okay, it's missing the lenses and the bulbs, but they can be salvaged and got somewhere else. Uh, you can see the grill, the nose cone. That's very, very hard to get nose cones. Alright, you can get spurious ones, but they don't um, exactly look the same when they're on. Uh, all right, the lenses all right have to be changed or cleaned up. Um, well, see, so yeah, so coming over to this side, you have your original CAV uh, injector pump, four cylinder, putting out uh, 70 horse, well, 69 horsepower to be exact. Uh, so what else here? So yeah, she's two wheel drive. She's not not power steering. She's just original. Uh, Normal steering. Uh, you have your toy, all right, and place to hang your weights. Now the uh, thousand series. Now I think it's only the five and seven thousand. The weights actually bolt kind of like that to them. Um, now correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just from what I've seen from other videos and photos. Uh, what else? Yeah, so you can see, as you can see there, the steps and all are very, very straight. 100% uh, the seat okay look that has to be changed all right but she's an old tractor and wear and tear happens to it all of us eventually uh, as you can see there the handbrake she's a, a disc handbrake which is the correct type for for this model uh, I think it's the same as the, some of the Massey 100 series and the likes so yeah, tire is good all round, can't complain. Hydraulics on the left and everything are working 100%. Uh, you have two hydraulic distributors here. Uh, you have your swing and draw bar. All right, this is a Kramer hitch that's uh, fitted. To, uh, it's a standard fit to a lot of tractors out in France, seeing as they don't have any um, pickup hitches out there. Uh, yeah, your 540 uh, speed PTO. 
as you can see there's absolutely no oil leaks at all over which is a major plus uh so yeah i have a plow lamp up there what else yes she's a very very straight tractor all around brakes everything gearbox mechanically can cannot falter um So that's you have your original exhaust as well. Not easy to come on them. Uh, so yeah, we'll just start her up here now and uh, give her give you a bit of a listen. So yeah, as you can see there, there's uh, five th just over five thousand original hours on her. Um, and she's charging and everything, lights and all are working on the dash. As you can see there, up. we'll just give her a bit of a hum. Lovely, lovely home out over. So I'll just knock her off here now. So yeah, there you have it. Um, this tractor actually spent uh, most of its life in the Toulouse uh, City County Council in the south of France. So as you can see, she's been well maintained and um, taken care of. Um, she wouldn't have been doing major hard work or out in the fields or anything like that much, if at all. Uh, so yeah, she has her original log book. <coughs> and um, yeah, so it'll be Selling her now at uh, seven thousand euro plus the VAT, um, like nearly impossible to get uh, tractors in this condition, or especially this model. Uh, so if you can, if you hear of another one like this, right, I'd be glad to see it. Would nearly buy it if you have one. Um, so yeah, you can see that on Nut Parts uh, Buy and Sell website. That's my own uh, marketplace website. Um, where you can sell, buy and sell tractors and tractor parts. It's mainly tailored for tractor parts, but while we're at it, you can, uh, we've created it that you can sell tractors on it as well. Uh, so yeah, go over there, take a look. There's a few more photos and uh, videos, this, that and the other, and you can get my contact details off it. Um, and yeah, just feel free to give me a, a ring or a WhatsApp message or anything to find out any more information. And uh, yeah, just a little word on nut parts while I'm here. So it's a buy and sell marketplace website, tailor made, as I said, for uh, buying and selling tractor parts uh, in the UK and well, in Ireland and the UK. Um, so yeah, very, very simple. It's free to place ads. Uh, and yeah, it's literally go on it, have a look around. Um, and if you have, anyone has any tractor parts or anything to sell, just create your own profile, it literally just takes about two minutes. And uh, yeah, just have a go at it. It's uh, like I said, it's free to place ads. And like we've sold, well, well we've helped lad sell uh, the likes of Fiat Mass to the Finland, Germany. Um, like he, there's even a, I think, Super Q, um, four Super Q cab bits that went to Canada and Scotland and the likes uh, for sellers in Ireland. So yeah, it's not just people in Ireland that you'd be looking at the site, it'd be people from all over the world. Um, it's because it's ranking high enough on Google now at the minute, so uh, it's a major plus. Uh, must be doing something right. Uh, not to be blowing my own horn much, but 
you know, <laughs> someone has to. Uh, so yeah, so I'd hand you back over to Laura now. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to her video. Um, she's doing a great job there on the channel, I have to say. Um, seems to be growing and growing with, with every video going up. So hopefully this will help her out a small bit as well. And as well as help myself uh, hopefully find a new home for this beauty. Um, so yeah, I just lit like the tractor is very original. I I wouldn't mind keeping her myself even. Um, I don't tend to like to paint tractors or sandblast them uh, unless like you know they need to, to to be preserved just to save them on rust and all that. Um, because look, the tractor tells a story like this. Um. Look, she eventually will have to be sandblasted and sprayed just to, as I said, preserve her from rust and the likes, just to keep her going another few years. Uh, so, yeah, but look, um, everyone for their own. Um, so, yeah, hopefully someone out there would like to make have add, add this to her, their collection. And, um, yeah, so that's all I can say. Thanks for listening, and uh, I'll hand you back over to Laura now. Thank you. Bye-bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of the Ford 5000. If you're interested in the 5000 or anything to do with tractor parts, whether you're selling them or buying them, I will leave the link to my brother's website down below in the description and you can get in contact with him for any questions you might have about the tractor and anything else. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.